The Royal Virgin Islands Police Force will soon be moving into schools to educate students on how to interact with police officers. Where my officers will soon be going back into the schools to talk to, to young children and, and get to them at an early age and talk to them about, you know, what is expected, you know, when you're spoken to by the police, you know. We don't want, after all, to start arresting children. The initiative will be led by the community policing officers who, according to Commissioner of Police Michael Matthews, have been stretched thin recently but are still on the ball. The Royal Virgin Islands Police Force is also working hand-in-hand -hand with the business community to advance crime fighting across the territory. Well, I was very pleased that I was invited to a meeting in the Chamber of Commerce here in Roadtown recently and we had a really good conversation about you know, some of the crime prevention uh, initiatives that we could do together uh, and that my community team indeed could be involved in and there's more work to do on that and I'm sure there's going to be further meetings with, with the businesses. Virgin Gorda is next in line for meetings involving Matthews, his team and business leaders. One initiative he said it has been advanced is the installation of CCT cameras around the community while businesses do the same for their properties. Matthews said that he has requested additional funding for this from government but is not sure if it will materialize in 2017.